Hi everybody. I'm so glad to be able to come to you from home to give you some tips and tricks for technology that you can use from home, especially when we're, we're experiencing social distance. Uh, I'm going to be doing a series over the next, I don't know, a couple weeks, maybe depending on time frame, but at least I'm going to be coming at you every other day uh, with some tools that you can use to communicate to other people um, while you're stuck at home. So the first one that I'm going to talk about is Facebook video calling. And the reason that I chose that is there's so many people on Facebook um, communicating in different ways. And this is a great way to communicate with people. Um, and you can actually see them face to face um, like you see, see me now. So um, what I've done is I've kind of created a presentation with screenshots and some other information uh, to walk you through how to set it up, how to use it, where to find it. Uh, the first one we're gonna be using is uh, using your computer. And then the second one is a little bit different. It's going to be using the app to be using your video calling. So um, I hope that you're gonna be able to see my screen okay. The nice thing about filming this video is you can come back later and watch it and stop it and start it to be able to figure out what you need to do with this. So let me go ahead and turn my screen around so you can see it. There we go. Hopefully you can see that okay. There's a little bit of a glare, it's from my projector, I apologize, but, um, so let's go ahead and move forward. The thing uh, with the video calling and be able to do, to be able to do this um, type of program for you, it has been sponsored by the Guiding Ohio Online Grant. And um, with that grant, uh, they've allowed us to use these services for providing this service. So, let me see if I can turn this down a little bit to get you a better view. Okay, so does this service work with all browsers? Um, Chrome, Opera, Microsoft Edge, and using the Messenger app, um, you can use all of these different browsers to use this service. Group calling is not available on Firefox or Microsoft Edge. Um, but you can still use it to individually call people. Where can you access this? For Messenger, of course, a lot of people use Messenger directly in your Facebook page. It's that little icon, as you can see it down in the bottom right, it's the blue one. Uh, with that, you just click on it and you guys send pictures and memes and fun different things to people through the actual Messenger in Facebook. There's also a full site, which is messenger.com, which that is the full screen uh, version of this. And what that does is uh, if you go to messenger.com, you can log into your account there and actually just click it and then it'll bring it up full screen and you can do these same things right there through that. You also have the messenger app. That's a standalone app that is messenger. Uh, it looks like that little icon down there in the bottom right or just straight through Facebook. So there's several different ways that you can access Messenger um, and these are some options for you. The next thing I want to talk about in this is um, how do I video chat with somebody? Well, if you are right in Facebook itself, if you look up in the top right, which I'm gonna show you this live when I'm finished here with this presentation, how it works. I'm gonna get a couple people on the line with me just so you can see how it works. Um, is if you click right there on that little icon, the messenger icon on the top right, the screen will look like that screenshot that I put there at the bottom. It might be a little bit hard for you to read. It says recent message request, new group or new message. So if you are going to uh, do a group message, what you would need to do is you would need to click new group. If you're going to do just an individual message, you're going to click new message. So when you do that, you will get the option to be able to send them a message. 
So my example here, I had chose, I chose two different people. I chose Wendy and Stephanie. And when I had their names, their names come up. And then if you can see right beside it there, there's like a little video camera and then there's a phone and then a little, um, I always call it a cog wheel, but that's just basically the settings. So all you have to do to be able to video conference someone or video call them is just click on that maybe if I can get my cursor there if you can see it right here I don't know if you can see it. it's kind of dark but uh, right there is uh, the video just click on that video and it will start your video call so if you have two people down it'll video call them both at the same time you can always choose one person and add someone later when you're doing it too and I'll show you how to do that here live um, within Facebook in a few minutes so once you choose the people that you're going to be using, this is how it comes up. It will look like this, and you'll see your groups that you have chosen. So it'll say ring Stephanie, ring Wendy, and there'll be a little blue check mark beside it. So you know that you have those people set up to actually um, call face to face. And then all you do is you click that call, clear up here in the top right, if you can see it, click that call button and it will connect you automatically to these people. They don't necessarily have to be on Facebook when you call, it should ring through their phone. We did this the other night with my family. I just said, hey, let's do a call and I just started calling everybody and um, it worked just fine. So, uh, one thing that you need to keep in mind is you might be prompted to use your camera or microphone. You can have about up to six people at a time on your call. And then if something happens that your screen locks up during a call, your video may continue to stream. Um, so you need to make sure that you click that phone to hang up the call before you shut your computer or it'll continue on. So make sure you hang up for that. So that's really all there is to the computer version of talking some, to someone through video call. Uh, next thing I'm gonna, co uh, I'm gonna cover talking about actually using the app or using your Facebook app, it is a little bit different. Uh, that way you can see the differences. So this is the difference. This was a screenshot of my phone. And what it is, I, I open my Facebook app and then up at the top when you're on the page, the main page there, you'll see the Facebook and then you'll see the magnifying glass and then you'll see the little messenger. To be able to get into this to do the the video calling is you just click that little messenger icon right there the little black with the little squiggle line in it if you just click that it will open it up and so it this is what it opened up to hopefully you can see that okay uh, you're going to when you get on this screen you're just going to click on that little video camera there on the right my son has volunteered to help me in several ways with this so um, Thank you to him for helping me with this. But um, so if I wanted to call him on the phone, I click the phone. But if I want to actually see his face, I'm going to click that video camera. And it'll automatically come up and show my face on the screen when he answers. We'll be face to face talking to one another. And you have more options on the app than you have on your computer. So at the top of your screen on the top left, that little circle there that looks like a chat, it actually is a chat. And you can click on that chat right there. And when you do that, it will kind of move all your pictures to the right and you can chat or send information back and forth through the chat while you're talking to one another. This one here, you can share your screen. Depending on your device, you may or may not have that option. And then this one, of course, is to change the direction of where you are fill, uh, viewing. And this one is the connection to connect to talk to each other. At the bottom of this app, you're going to have several different things. The first one here, this is a camera button. It's kind of fun. And I'm going to show you some examples of the camera later. Uh, this here, if you click it while you're talking, it will take a picture of whatever is on your screen. So it's kind of fun later to go back to. You can click this one here and you can add several different people to your video chat. This is your microphone. You can turn it off and on. And this is what ends your call right over here on the right. Down at the bottom, um, you'll see different things for activities and filters. 
those will be at the bottom and if i go to the next screen this shows this is my crazy family i got their permission to show this you will see here uh it's got different things you can fun effects you can add glasses you can add all different things and you can all be talking at the same time so this first one here, there's five of us at a time. This one over here, there are four of us at a time. So it's really fun. It has some cool different features and fun things that you can do with it to make some, some social distancing a little bit easier for you. Here are the resources to um, where I got some of the information. But what I'd like to do now is I am going to actually go into my Facebook page and I'm gonna show you what it looks like from a computer to be able to connect to someone via video. So I'm on my Facebook page and I go to the top where Messenger is and I click on it. And so I selected my son and I'm going to click the video link and it pops up in a new screen it will show him and it shows what it's videoing. Might be a little loud just because of what we're doing here. So he is connecting. There's Dawson, hi Dawson. And the next thing I'm going to do is if I go down here at the bottom, it's a little hard to see. There is a plus and then it says add group members. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, add my niece. I got her permission to add. I'm going to add her and then you can see what it looks like. So I added her name and then it says ring. So I click that ring and so it's adding Kara to our group. So you can see Dawson, he's using some of the fun filters because he's using the app. And then there's Kara, hi Kara. So here is an example of what it's like for all of us to be chatting. We can see one another, we can interact, you could even play games with other people through this. Um, you could share stories, you could do goofy things like we like to do. Um, it's great entertainment for social distancing instances. Um, it's a great way to have fun. You could share homework. You could do homework if you're doing homework together. You could just be silly and have a great time. So um, I would encourage you to check out Facebook video calling because we did this with my family the other night. One of us lives uh, far away. Uh, the other ones are kind of close here, but it doesn't matter the distance. Um, you can still have a great time with each other. Um, I'm working on things. So there's so many different uses for this. This would be great for someone who is in the nursing home or something that can't get out. Um, you could, they could still see your face and be encouraged by seeing you. So um, as far as this goes, if you are interested in getting some more information or um, you need some help with something, you can message through uh, the Facebook here at the Salem Library. Uh, I will be on again in another day or so, which would be Sunday actually at 2 o'clock. Same time each day it's going to be at 2 o'clock. Uh, we will be working on some more things like this, how we can have fun uh, when we're being separated and still see each other's faces and bring joy and, and cheer to each other's lives. So um, I hope that everyone is doing well and I hope that you learned something from watching this. And I really hope that um, you join me again next time. Uh, see you soon.